This episode of CleaningBiz.TV is made possible by the MyHouseCleaningBiz.com's Workplace Conflict Starter Kit. We all have conflict within our business and sometimes we just don't know what to do or say in these difficult situations. The Workplace Conflict Starter Kit is a web-based program that's your surefire solution to knowing what to do and say when things go wrong. I'm Jean Hansen and this is a show that will help turn your vision into a successful cleaning business. Everyone wants more money, and many cleaning business owners believe that money is the only motivation cleaning technicians need to be happy with their job. I mean, let's face it, I'm pretty sure most of us have had employees quit because they can make 10 cents an hour more at another job. So if that's all it takes to get them to stay, why not offer more money? It's true that a good compensation plan will help attract good prospects, but raising their pay is not the only answer. Here are a few suggestions to keeping cleaning technicians motivated and happy without raising their pay. First, give them a career path. Most people look at their cleaning job as a means to an end, a stepping stone to a real career. But many cleaning companies have created a career path into supervisory and management positions as well as administrative positions within their company. If cleaning technicians know there is opportunity for growth within the company and that your policy is to promote from within, it gives them incentive to excel at their job and move forward into new opportunities. Reward exceptional performance with more responsibility or a leadership position. Encourage your high-performing employees by offering to develop their leadership skills. Do this by giving them additional responsibility, such as leading a meeting or handling a project by themselves. Then, coach them through the process, explaining what they're doing right and what, can, what they can do better. When you help them improve their performance or gain new skills, their loyalty to you and the company increases. Provide a positive working environment. The younger generations rank positive working conditions high on their list of must-haves when it comes to work. Give serious thought to the type of work environment you currently provide and figure out how to do a better job of making it more positive for your employees. Recognize your cleaning technicians when they do a good job. If you want to create a positive work environment, then recognize them for the good work that they do. It doesn't cost you anything to take the time to tell your employees when they do a good job, so it's a very inexpensive way to motivate and retain your employees. And if you want to take it a step further, come up with a reward system for motivating employees that do exceptional work. Make ongoing training a priority. Most companies are so busy trying to get new employees trained in that they completely forget that the rest of the employees need more training. Much of what they learn in their initial training is lost over time as they settle into their job. They forget the exact procedure they're supposed to use because their training hasn't been reinforced. Considering the vast number of topics you can train your employees on, such as cleaning procedures, safety, customer service, and so on, there's simply no excuse for not providing ongoing training. When you can keep your cleaning technicians motivated and happy, they will feel they're an important part of the company and they'll feel that you care about them individually. This goes way beyond the temporary satisfaction of a bigger paycheck. And it just may keep them on your payroll instead of jumping ship to your competitors. That's it for today's show. If you have conflict within your business and don't know quite what to do or say, then the Workplace Conflict Starter Kit is your surefire solution. This self-study guide will give you the exact verbiage to use so you can have good ways to deliver bad news. I'm Jean Hansen and you can find me on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Just look for the links at cleaningbiz.tv. See you next time.